two of the upcoming supposedly NASCAR women drivers that are coming up in the sport. One currently right now is racing in the truck series and other is racing part-time. But the reason why I wanted to discuss this is I wanted to take a look at how you carry how one is doing better than the other and the reasons why. Because the drivers that we're going to be talking about here today are going to be Natalie Decker and Haley Deegan. Now, let's get on to Natalie Decker because this is the one I'm, I'm, I have the most opinion about. Because I happen to follow these two on Twitter and Instagram. So I'm like, okay, because when you're a NASCAR driver, you're supposed to carry yourself well on social media. And well, for the sponsors that are going to be sponsoring you. So, let's take a look at Natalie Decker's career compared to Haley Deegan's. Obviously, Natalie Decker is older than Haley Deegan, so I'm going to basically go into the one season that they've raced the most races in that one series, whether it's, in, uh, whether it's ARCA, Trucks, or even you know, like Xfinity. So, Natalie Decker's rookie season as a Truck Series driver, she was racing for DGR Crossley, who was going part-time in that season. In her first season, she raced 19 races, 0 wins, 0 top 5s, 0 top 10s, average start of 19.9, and an average finish of 22.2. The next season, she would go on to drive for Nice Motorsports, but she missed the majority of last season due down to health and some health issues, so I'm not even going to take account into that season. Haley Deegan's rookie season, which she was racing for technically the same team, David Gillen Racing. She was racing for the exact same team. Only one was a Toyota at the time, one was a Ford. Actually, no, I believe, no. I believe DJR Crossley was a Chevy time. I'm, I'm not sure, really sure. I think DJR Crossley, what's DJ? Let me know in the comments down below if DJR Crossley was a Chevy when Nally Decker was driving it. No, I believe they were Toyota still. But Haley Deegan's season as a rookie, 22 races, so three more than Nally Decker. Zero wins, zero top fives, however, one top ten. Start. Average start of 18.0 and an average finish of 20.9. So in their rookie season, compared to the truck series, racing for technically the same team, Haley Deegan had a better rookie season than Natalie Decker. Now when it comes to the Xfinity series, obviously Haley Deegan has only raced one time in the Xfinity series, so I went off their best finish in their history of their career in the Xfinity series. And you gotta, and you gotta look at this also. Natalie Decker has run some, you know, like some lower tier teams, but Haley Deegan has a run for sincerely the best running teams. I would say mid level to low level teams, and I would say Natalie Decker's probably a low level team. So I mean, I I guess I can't really count this, but I'm gonna still count this. So Natalie Decker's best finish in the Xfinity series is 24th place. And Haley Deegan's obviously best finish came last year in their only Xfinity series race, where she finished 13th. As a 20 year old. So, Haley Deegan, right now, I would say is still a highly rated prospect because she still is young and she still has time to develop. I say this Haley Deegan, next season, if she gets an Xfinity Series ride, Haley Deegan will be competing for Xfinity Series playoffs. I'm not going to say championships, she'll be competing for the playoffs in the first season because I, I think when you're driving the Xfinity Series car compared to trucks, she's going to be more well you know she's going to feel more comfortable in the xfinity series car considering that her best finish was 13th place in her rookie in her debut i gotta give it to her now the arca series for both drivers which is Haley dean and nally decker nally decker in her arca series the one where she raced 20 races which was in 2018 she had 20 races zero wins two top fives nine top tens one pole average start 11.8 and an average finish of 11.9. Haley Deegan, 2020. She raced 20 races, 0 wins, 4 top 5s, 17 top 10s, 0 poles, average start of 5.9, and an average finish of 7.3. So, I mean, and they were basically in the same type of equipment too, because the ARCA series around the same time were still, it wasn't really like, oh, you have the best team, you're going to get the best parts. If you have the talent and you're good enough, you can go out there and win an ARCA Series race. So looking at the Truck Series, Xfinity Series, and ARCA Series, Haley Deegan is just a better prospect now. But here's the one that I really wanted to get into. Because, you know, outside of the sport, outside of the track, you have to carry yourself well on social media. 
Haley Dean currently right now is a developmental driver for the Ford program. She drives in the truck series still for Thor Sport Racing, and I believe that she probably will get an Xfinity Series ride. I hope she gets an Xfinity Series ride for next season. But the one thing I like about Haley Deacon is that she carries herself well on her social media. She really does. She does get hate comments. I mean, everybody's going to get hate comments, but she carries herself well in terms of that. She's not responding to a majority of the hate comments, but like, oh, but like, you know, you, you know, you're just used to playing NASCAR E5. Meanwhile, however, Natalie Decker is not really carrying herself well on social media. And I've been, I've seen, you know, like, I've been taking a look because I've, I want to see these drivers do well. But Natalie Decker just does not carry herself well on social media. Someone can make a rude comment about her and she'll have to bring up the fact that they don't drive. They only play NASCAR Heat 5. And it's just like, do you really have to respond to them in that type of way? I understand, like, they're commenting, but they're going to always comment something bad. There's always going to be haters. You don't have to respond to them, but if you do, choose the right way to respond to them. and Don't come up with a response like that. Like, yes, they don't know, they don't understand how it feels to be inside of a NASCAR race car. But still, you have to keep in mind that there are sponsors out there that may be interested in you, but you respond to them, and the way you respond to your fans it's going to be interesting. And the way you have your social media is going to be interesting because all power to her. But in the past couple of months, Natalie Decker has been rumored to have or be joining only fans. And I just got to be honest, if she had did that, her NASCAR career would have been definitely over because NASCAR is a family friendly sport. And having somebody like that and having sponsors look at somebody like that, I just don't think she would have been able to get a sponsor considering she's doing that type of stuff, and I believe that she still does or still has a Patreon where she has a $15 tier and then a $69 tier, which just blows my mind, and then she's posting Instagram pictures. Like, I don't understand why people, like, buy that stuff or even want that type of stuff, but all power to her for doing that, and that's on her. Like, it has nothing to do with me. It really has to do with her. But I just want to say this. I, I just watched... And I watched a TikTok from both of them earlier today. Or I, I believe the last TikTok from Haley Dean and the most recent TikTok from Natalie Decker. Natalie Decker was talking about her race this past weekend at Daytona, saying that she was pushing Riley Hurst, and then Riley Hurst started checking him when there's a wreck coming to her and she was not able to stop, and she drove through the back of Riley Hurst. And then she wants to complain about, oh, NASCAR's rule, where if you get towed or you're being towed, you are out of the race. That has been the thing for f more than three to four years. That has been the thing for more than three to four years. If you get told or you're being told you are out of the race. That's just, that's just the thing. There's nothing to really complain about. And she ended up saying that rule is really, that rule is stupid. You can't really say the rule is stupid because that rule has been in existence for a couple of years now. Like if the, if the rule had just come out you and you got, you know, you beat enough because of that finish. Then, then fair enough. You can make that ruling, but I don't really think that she can make it a saying about that because, like I said, that rule has been in existence for three to four years now. And I'm not even gonna lie. I remember seeing one of the NASCAR YouTubers. I believe it's Black Lives Matters, Darian, and he was talking about a TikTok video that had to be deleted because she was basically complaining about, oh, the sport doesn't really care about its female drivers. NASCAR cares about its female drivers and is giving opportunities to everyone out there. It's all about yourself and the sponsors. The sponsors are the ones that are going to choose. NASCAR does not choose, and NASCAR can help you get sponsors. You have to do that self on the track and on social media. And I just don't really agree with the way that she carries herself on social media. I don't, Haley Deegan, I feel like. Is just it's just a whole different example compared to Natalie Decker, and I'm gonna be honest with that. I just feel like that's the honest truth. Haley Deegan, that's the reason why she's a developmental driver, really, because she carries herself well. She carries herself out well for the sponsors, and that's the reason why she continues to go up the ladder, and she will continue to go up the ladder until she is in the NASCAR Cup Series, which I do see Haley Deegan being in the NASCAR Cup Series. But in all honesty. 
I just don't see Nally Decker being more than a part-time Xfinity Series or even Truck Series driver. And I think I don't even think that Nally Decker has a shot at getting in the Cup Series. And if it is, it's going to be for a backmarker team because she just needs to change some of the ways that she does things on social media and how she acts on the track because I've seen many clips. Bro, there's a whole bunch of clips about Natalie Decker and how she was back in the past racing the truck series and the past the past few years in the Xfinity series. Well, in all honestly, guys, I want to know your comments down below because it, right now, if I had to take a look at it and if I had to say, Natalie Decker is a definite NASCAR bust and Haley Deegan is a future NASCAR possible Xfinity series champion and who knows, maybe even a Cup Series champion.